I found a list of places on where not to bring a girl on the first date. Mm. And we're going to go through them and see if we agree or if we disagree. I swear if I see Cheesecake Factory, but I'm losing. Number one, Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to another episode of the Sergio Talks Podcast. It's your boy Sergio Talks. It's your boy Matt. It's your boy Carl. It's your boy Michu. And before we get into this episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to give us five stars on Amazon, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon. Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe to our new YouTube channel. B3. Carl, I swear to God, bro. We do two episodes back to back and you still forget. No, you guys were quick on that one. You guys were really quick. They're just on <laughs> they're, they're, they're just no, no, on time. No, no. We're just was, listening was, to what he says. Say it, but y'all, y'all were quick. Okay, well, now you're getting a punishment for Five seconds, convince them to come to B3. Go. Come to B3. You look at me right now. You guys know you want to come to B3. So come to B3. That's it. That's all I got. So come on. Matt has a series of questions that he wants to ask us today. All right. No, before the question. Am I, I, I want to know, am I going to get mad? Yes. I'm going to get mad? Yes. Am I getting head? Huh? What? He said mad. Everyone's in a good mood? Yes. Good. You guys are going to be probably in a bad mood. Okay, so, well then apologize to them too. I apologize. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read some stories, which is, your girl asks you, do I look fat, babe? And then you answer, of course you don't. What do you mean, babe? Means whatever answer I say is going to be wrong anyways. Bro, yeah, it's such it's a, a trap. trap, bro. Yeah. Well, we'll do a role play. We'll practice. Okay. You be the girl and I'll be the guy. Do I look fat, fat babe? What are you talking about? You look amazing. Stop lying to me. Look, like, there's this thing right here. Look look at me. Would I lie to you? But do you like this outfit, though? Love it. You like this outfit? You should wear it every day. I don't hate this color. Why? She said your favorite color is red. Yeah. And that's blue. So? So you're a liar. No. Oh, wow. You're a fucking liar. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy cheating stories. Yo, my oh, heart is beating my so God. fast. My heart is pounding, and bro. And you guys going to react on it. This is all Twitter stories confession, right? There's no way. I cheated on my ex with three different women multiple times. I fucked one of the f- one. <laughs> I fucked one the first day we were official. Then later down the road, I fucked my ex, and two of those other ladies in the same day. My ex now is a single mom stripper in Iowa. Yo, you broke her, bro. That's, That's crazy. You broke her. Literally, three different girls. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you, cheating when you're dating someone is already wild. Cheating when you have a kid is... That's scum, bro. Bro, I, bro, I have That's a disgusting. crazy story, bro. I, this girl I was, I was seeing, right? I'm seeing her, we're fucking this, that, and the third, and then at one time, I think I told you guys this story, and at one time, she gets a phone call, and she's like, we just had sex, right? She gets a phone call, I can hear the screaming. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then hang up and she goes my boyfriend is coming i'm like sorry what you have a boyfriend and she goes you have to leave literally you have to leave figure it out i'm like what the fuck take my shit i'm butt ass naked i have only the time to take my fucking boxers on leave with everything but the problem you know what i i couldn't leave with my shoes because what happened is she took a picture and in the mirror the guy saw my shoe and he was like who the fuck shoes is there so i had to leave the shoes which were fucking jays by the way that's crazy i had to leave Go in the bushes because I couldn't take go to my car. Three cars ran. I'm staying like there in the bushes with my clothes. What the fuck is going on? The guy gets in, whatever, story, story, story. Done. I end up saying, boyfriend, she gets single. I'm like, oh, finally, like, you got single. Let's see each other, whatever, blah, blah. blah. We both single. She goes, ah, like, no, you know what? Like, I'm not, not really interested. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, that's weird. Six months pass by. She gets in a relationship, texting me a week after. She said, I'm down to fuck. I said, you're fucking weird. Literally, I said, you're fucking weird. Seven. Single, you don't want to fuck me, but you get in a relationship with another guy. He didn't do anything to you, and you want to fuck me a week after you got in a relationship. I said, you're weird. That's so weird. Because people want what they can't have. She wants the thrill. She likes the thrill of cheating. Yeah. Not I kind guess, of bro. I guess. Fucking devious, bro. And I know a girl that only huh? fucks with... Huh? What'd you say? She was Latino. <laughs> it's Latino. There you that's go. Crazy. There you go. For everybody no, that's no, asking. I'm not generalized. I'm just saying. Everybody that's asking why I don't like Latinas. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> there you go. All right. Wait. I know a girl that uh, she only... 
fucks with married guys. That's crazy. That's it. I hate those people. That's it. She doesn't fuck with anyone that's single or whatsoever. She says, me, I like a married guy. I like guys that are married. Home record. Bro. Yeah. I hope people like that never get into a serious relationship. Bro, that's Seriously. crazy. Man. I'm yeah. sure it's the same type of girl that will get, like, fuck this man. That if the men switch up and try to have a relationship with her, she'll be like, ah. I don't no, know. yeah, definitely. A thousand percent. So weird. But I guess it's a chill. It's like, yeah, it's like thrill like, chasing, you know? We can't understand. Yeah, I'm going to stay single. All right. Um, I'm good. I'm going to stay single. You are single. I'm going to stay like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stay, <laughs> stay single as hell, bro. I promise you. That's crazy. Okay, this one is. Uh, I fucked my friend's wife. Okay. Um, you can stop it here, yo. You can stop it here, bro. It's good. All righty. Yo, that's fucking... That's not your friend, bro. Wow. Don't use the word friend. You're not allowed. Yo, you guys are not ready for this shit, bro. Okay, just... You want to make it worse? Imagine that's one of us. No, bro. Yeah, imagine that's one of no, us. No, I'm not doing that. Just I context, pro bro. I promise you I won't. Okay, me and you. No. I'm the friend. No. no. <laughs> so... So I'm the one that's fucking, right? And then you're the husband. I fucked my friend's fucking wife, wife for two years. <gasps> Even knocked her up with her twins. I stopped by one night to hang out. His wife tells me he doesn't know anything. I'll drop her off at night. Not 10 minutes after I came in her, he pulls her bottom down as she entered the house and eats her out. Hey, bud. For two years, you swallowed my cum out of your wife. Yo! <laughs> Trailer Park, Marsh Marshalltown. What the fuck? I... <laughs> That's crazy. So yeah, Michi, imagine that's me. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm I'm telling you guys right this second, I'm staying single. Thank you. Look at me in my eyes, Matt. <laughs> I'm staying single. Hey, bro, like you said to me, you are single. <laughs> you know, you, you, you we will know, forever be. For, we will forever be. You bro. know, the other day you asked like, what would be a good reason for me to knock you out? That would probably be a good reason. Broski, knock you out, bro. I'm a 25 to life. What? Yeah, I promise you I'm putting somebody six feet deep. 25 <laughs> to somebody, life? There's only one person <laughs> yeah. to be blamed. That bro. Person. Oh, maybe the wife. Maybe too. a couple people. <laughs> okay, but you know Damn. what? Like, you know, okay, so obviously the cheating part bothers me. Yo, if you try to reason with this. No, story, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Are you mental? Tell me you, bro. Are you mental, bro? Go say it. What do you have to say? I'm, all I was going to say is that the cheating part is obviously fucking disgusting. But the part that matters to me the most is the friendship. That's not a fucking friendship that no, you have no, with the guy. No, 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 no. This is disgusting, care. bro. So, bro, so many people, bro. There's so many stories like this, bro. This there's is disgusting, lot. bro. I don't get it. I there's never guys that are horny bastards. That guys will care. do that. Guys will fuck over their friends for for money, yeah. for women, um, or for opportunity. Thousands. You won't catch me dead doing own bullshit like that. A lot of a lot of friendships are like most, that. Most friendships are like that. If yeah. if you guys like live in within like your means of having like just like friends that you like hang out from time to time, most likely not. Mm -hmm. But like if you're striving to become something, I, I guarantee you, as soon as you introduce opportunity, women uh, or money, like certain individuals will fuck over their friends like that. Yo, some weird. I've seen it so many times, bro. I don't get Weirdos, it. Weirdos, bro. I swear. Wait, how do you sleep at night? There's after? so many girls. Bro. That's just crazy. Go for another one. That's what I'm saying. Go for another one. The wife is fucked still, bro. Next. Up next. Coming in her is wild, too. It is. And then eat her out, by the way. And he got her pregnant with twins already. Yeah, anyways. Okay. Went to class reunion and met with an old boyfriend. He. And my husband ate it off just fine. We drank a whole lot. He helped me get my husband, who was really drunk, back to our room. And I gave him a blowjob while my husband was passed out on the bed. <laughs> oh. oh, my God, bro. Dude, this Head is insane. This like, <laughs> head this is, is where insane. he dropped the line. <laughs> nah, nah, head is, head is crazy. crazy. Oh, Not... thank you so much. That's fucking. Wild. How did it happen? Like she just. 
it, it just I, I had so to wait, be like, where, like where was the husband in bed passed out yeah, and she like yeah. thanked him in another room basically like oh what really he like said this? he said like you guys have a good night and then she says like i wish i could thank you more than like enough He's like, and he goes <laughs> oh uh, and she goes oh yeah that's such a great idea I mean, at least he got head, but fucking hell. I feel That's like crazy. Head is worse than, like, if you were to have sex with her, bro. I ain't gonna lie. No, bro. Getting bent over. Nah, head is, head is bad, bro. Hair head. pulling. Every, bro, I don't know, bro. Cream don't pie. Head Cream is pie. bad, bro. Head is crazy. You guys are telling Throat me. pie. What do, you, what, what do you think it's worse? Head. Head. Head, for it's sure. It's worse, bro. Head, bro. You come back home, you tell me you had sex versus you suck dick. Sucking dick is sucking wild. dick is you wild. You can't you can't recover from sucking dick, bro. Like she like she she said, nah, we're not fucking. I just want to suck it to another guy. Oh, if she, if crazy. I find text messages where she says like I can't wait to suck your dick, that's crazy. Wow, fuck, bro. <laughs> that is gonna be <laughs> shit. Yeah. If I see it, I miss you, doesn't bother me. I want to suck your dick. I'm murdering someone, bro. It. D- I'd much rather you emotionally cheat on me than suck a dick. Yeah. Go on a date. Yeah, okay. But don't yeah, suck a dick. Suck two dicks. Huh? <laughs> Hell nah, bro. Imagine if she only okay. cheats by sucking dick. She what? doesn't fuck. She's a I, serial... I didn't fuck any of them. I suck their dicks. She's a serial She's dick She's a serial sucker. dick sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Uh, okay. My I turn. A, I have a question. <sighs> Your... <laughs> this guy said my turn. <laughs> uh, yo, <laughs> that's crazy. What were you gonna say? Uh, uh, Wait, what's crazy? Getting head? My turn. I mean, like that, the way that you like answer that was like, when is it your turn to suck dick? No, that's what, how get you get my dick sucked. That's not what you said. That's what I meant. <laughs> I, that's the part I'm not putting in as a bit. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, your girl cheating on you, sucking dick only. Or your girl cheating on you, getting fucked by two guys. Shit, two is a lot. And she's sucking dick when she fucking no, two, she or she doing no, like she anal and pussy. Yeah, DP, bro. Wow. So she's either sucking two guys or she's no, she, fucking two she's guys. She's only sucking dick, or either getting double penetrated. Eiffel you Tower. See? Eiffel Tower. No, no there's no, no Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Tower. She's not sucking dick. Oh, she's getting my fault. Double. I feel like that, the. Two guys is kind of killing. Two guys is crazy. Yeah, two, two guys, guys is, is crazy. crazy. It's too crazy. It's too crazy. I was so scared that you guys are sucking dick, bro. But I'm, I'm going to be real with you. It's not close. It's pretty close. No, bro. It's really I ain't going to lie. Carl, no, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's really close. It's not close. I don't think you understand. Like, if someone, if someone says, yo, the sucking dick is wild, I would never. I would be like, okay, fair. Like, but the two guys is still, to me, is, I, I'd say. Suck, you Matt, do you understand that sucking dick is crazy? Yeah, bro. It's two like, guys are destroying your girl. Yep. Matthew. And you're think sucking dick is there where you draw the line. Matt, if she sucks his dick, bro, he will, like, change the way she speaks, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Playing with the vocals. <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm saying, bro. What the fuck, bro? Bro! Yo! <laughs> My guy hitting high notes. <laughs> uh, On some real shit though, yo, handle your fucking liquor, bro. That's crazy. Oh fuck. There's more. Oh yeah. Oh my. <laughs> yo, bro, these three kind of. Okay. One time I was over at my friends. Okay, sorry. One time, men was over at my friend's female house, and I already knew she had a boyfriend, but we're such go- good friends. I would sleep over it, and when I when when I went to take a shower, she came in, and I could not resist, so I had sex with her in the shower for almost an hour. And the next day, I saw her boyfriend, and she said, if you say anything to him, she wouldn't let me fuck her again. Therefore, I'll fuck again. But if you say something, you're not fucking anymore. You see how double... Okay. You ready? We'll just skip to the next one because this one, next one is pretty heavy. What the? Ready? Fuck? Ready? Okay, okay. Have you done the twin bullshit, bro? A second dick. I'm sick. I'm 16, and I'm dating a guy that's 18. He's the love of my life. 
I love him so much. We've been together for almost three years. Have been sexually active for two years. He has never cheated on me and loves me so much. Pretty good, right? Last summer, I was talking to another guy I was going to school with. And it turned into more than just talking. We started sexting and eventually we had sex. It was different because I had been with my boyfriend for so long and I was really nervous. It's okay. Well, now okay. Well. Since then, we've only seated, but we plan on fucking tomorrow after school. He has a huge dick and it feels really good. Mm-hmm. My boyfriend is kind of, he's kind of small and it doesn't really please me at all. It doesn't really please me. He doesn't know I'm fucking one of his best friends, but his dick is so good. I just keep on going for more. <laughs> me, it's the fact that she has to mention that his dick is so huge. That's his best friend. And the fact that she mentioned, I have to go for more. Not even, not even like big, huge, huge but so huge. That's crazy. And she says, so good. I can't stop going for more. Like she's addicted. Yeah. Literally. If, literally, she says, it felt really good. That's crazy, bro. Every time she has sex with her boyfriend, she's like, fuck. That's insane. Brita. She's like, oh, fuck. A shrimp dick again. Bro. Shrimpy. 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 I'm fucking good, bro. I'm good. And then she good. goes for the big kahuna after. Yeah. <sighs> one Tyron and one, like, Simon or Alex. <laughs> fucking hell yo i can't the yo the the best friend story bro is crazy oh, you're still on you're still on yeah the best friend stories i can't handle it bro okay uh it gets worse I'll take huh that. yo no listen listen okay <laughs> my wife of 30 years was caught by me cheating with a man in a motel room. She Pause. Wait. My fault. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait. Listen. My wife of, of 30, 30 years, years. So he's a man. Was caught by me. Me? Cheating with a man in my motel room. That's how it starts. <laughs> but then she admitted that she cheated with 22, 22 different men through the whole marriage. Oh. <laughs> so... Listen, it goes it goes further, but before we'll just stop there for now. Yeah, that's definition of what's worse. Zen, what's, no, listen, listen. This is what's zen. worse? <laughs> Some tea. I have a question for you. Get the camera. Okay. What's worse? Your man cheats on you with another man, so therefore he was like, like, when with girls his whole life, but then you kind of learn that he's gay, or or girl that's been in a thirty year marriage, but then cheated with twenty two different men. What's worse? Tell 22 me. men is insane. 22 men is very you, specific bro. also. It's oh, because awesome. there's the details. That's why. Who's that? Bon jour, please, bro. Okay. What? About eight were one night stands. Other were... L- yeah. Other were long-term a- affairs. Uh, but it's something to count because it's not going to be all the numbers. Um, so about eight were one night stands. Others were long term affairs. Sometimes with up to three affairs going on at the same time. She was rotating these guys. Yes. Yet through all of this, I got all the sex I wanted from her. I asked her if our two grown boys were mine, and she said they were a blood test. Blah blah blah. Twenty two. Well, the rest is whatever. I didn't do anything at first. I let myself stew in a while, then told her she could fuck all the guys she wanted. And if she wants to stay married, then I can do the same thing. And she agreed. So so they just turned into an open relationship. Okay. Okay. If they have an open relationship, then agree to that before like 30 years of marriage, please. It's like I mean I don't think everyone just wants yeah you don't uh, know bro. marriage like knowing that how does that conversation even come to light? But yeah. that's the thing. Like I feel like you can like you have a feeling like you like okay, oh so you know I wanna maybe explore seeing other people would that be like something that you would be in, into whatever maybe if because you guys didn't fuck in the last like eight months nine months or whatever or like she never wants to and then you kind of ask like are you still attracted to me and then she goes oh, yeah not oh, fucking yeah. for eight months is insane. When I you have a girlfriend, I would not be able to do that. 
That's crazy. Yeah, I wasn't far for that, bro. My six year relationship last year was one sex once a month, once every two months or something. Once a month is different than eight months. Eight months? No, I know, man. but if I would have continued this relationship, it would have been once every six, seven months. Dead off. I was dead. Because I'm not someone that was going to force anything, and she would never do the move. So I'm like, oh. Yeah, fair. Mm. Uh, I get it. Damn, so no. So uh, this one is. Uh, yeah. No head or no doggy? Both. No, no, no. Like, oh, like which you, one? Yeah. No head or no doggy? Yeah. No, no doggy. No doggy. Fuck. I'll never sacrifice head, never. Like, For real. Yeah. If it's fire, it's fire, bro. Wait, what's what's your answer? Oh, for what? Sorry. Him is doggy for sure. Head. No doggy or no head? As for what? I didn't listen, so you have to... Like, like just which, which one, one would you, would you be able to live without? No doggy or no head? No head. I told you. Yeah, that was pretty easy. I don't care. That's where Matt thrives. Bro, most of... <laughs> most, that asked most of my sex session, I don't have head. That's insane. That's actually crazy, bro. I'm dead, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's really crazy. I don't care. It doesn't... Like, it doesn't, like, excite me like that. Like, if it's there... It's true. If it, if no it, hood. Ah, uh, hoodless. <laughs> <laughs> hoodless. I mean, I mean, if it's there and if it's a girl that knows what she's doing and also like, okay, you know what excites me? It's when she does it and she gets super wet doing it. That, I'm like, okay, fuck, that's nice. But like, me asking for her to do it. Asking for it is crazy. Yeah. No, but not, ask, not ask, but you get what I mean. I'll like, never just, ask. I'll never ask. You get what I mean. Like, it's not... Can you shrug my dick? The fuck? The fuck I look like? Nah, asking for it is wild. How the it's fuck wild. do you guys think I ask, bro? No, but I'm just saying, like... You know I that's actually... Like, how? <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> <just. laughs> That's so good. How would we ask... And then, and then she, like, resists. And it's like... <laughs> <laughs> How would each of us, if we had to ask, how would each of us ask for a head? Do we say it for us or we say it for others? Like uh, how I think Sergio would ask? Or we're just what's the best way of asking? No, how how would we ask? Like how how would you, how how would Matt ask for a head? I <laughs> can't go for it. Let's do. No. Okay, so we're doing it for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's funnier like that. <laughs> Matt would be like. He's cold. <laughs> he's cold. <laughs> cold you know? Facts. I already said that. So, facts. You said that? Yes. Uh, he's cold. I'm like, little buddy's bored down there. The difference. That's very different <laughs> from saying not, he's cold. Like, the, the, the sentence. Saying buddy is, co- is, is, lo- is lonely down there is crazy. I never call my dude buddy. That's crazy. That's Bro, crazy. I, I be doing stupid shit like that. It works. I don't care. Homie. Yeah, it works because she feels bad for that pickup line. Bro. <laughs> 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 uh, Damn. What the fuck, bro? No, you're choosing for who? I'm, I'm, I'm wondering for Michu. Michu? Michu would be like, <laughs> Michu would say, don't worry, it fits. <laughs> and he never does. My bad. <laughs> the man, man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The legend. Yo, yesterday on the fucking live, bro. <laughs> no, bro. Go for it. Like the... what happened yesterday? Yeah, on the fucking that live. Sounds bro. Crazy, I died, right? bro. That's crazy. Yeah. For um, real. what would what would Carl's be? I think Carl's the same as the one that I'm doing now. Is actually not listen. Is actually no. not asking. It's just that if, let's say, she's sitting or let's say she's, like, there, you don't say anything. You kind of just kind of take your clothes off, whatever, and her face is kind of right there. And you don't say anything. And she kind of <laughs> just does it. Yeah. He, Carl would be, like, he sees, like, he'll he'll give her, like, tries. Like, she'll be, like, like hop on him, and he'll be, like. Is that what you do? Oh, he'll yeah. say, no head is crazy. <laughs> 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 no, it is crazy. Because <laughs> yeah. how I see it is like you, you, so she's sitting on the bed, yeah, and then you're like you're standing up, right, and then you kind of, and then you go like, but you're standing and she's sitting, and then her POV is literally the myth, mm. and then she. You picturing an entire scenario of Carl's dick is insane. <laughs> Said the myth. <laughs> Call them the myth. Yeah. <laughs> oh! 
Uh, oh my god. That's okay, crazy. boys. It's 2024. Mm-hmm. Okay. And cramp. Oh. Sorry. It's 2024. Monkey don't get Only because on. of the time. Sorry. That's left. <laughs> you do have one last last one. To you have one last one? Okay, and go it's pretty it. good before you go off. Okay. Oh my god. I saw my ex girlfriend at the time. So my I saw my, okay. I saw my girlfriend on the street with some guy. They were physically comfortable holding hands, but but touching everything. After a while, I decided to confront her. Confront her. She tells uh, she tells me it's only her cousin. Turns out it was actually just her cousin. <laughs> oh my days! What the fuck? So yeah, she's she's fucking her cousin. Sweet home Alabama. Alabama. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, move on. Just to have some weirdness before closing off the subject. How do you? How, what? Brother. That's family. That's crazy. Clap. Well, see you at Hear subject. me out. Huh? Hear what no. out? When wh- <laughs> is there a line where it becomes okay? Like second, third cousin? Third cousin. <laughs> no, I'm just, <laughs> so I'm just bad, saying. No, mean. I'm just saying that scientifically proven. Third cousin, if you were to have kids with your third cousin, it wouldn't affect the kids. It's so far. Yeah, it's so far down the lineage exactly. that. I'm good. What if she's bad? What if your third cousin is Iggy Azalea? I, I pretty much doubt it, but... What if your cousin is is uh, Denayako? Third cousin? Third cousin. I'm <laughs> doing a thousand percent. <laughs> what if your third cousin is Kalani? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. What if your third cousin is uh, Bruno Mars? <laughs> 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 I, I like Filipinas, not Filipinos. Oh, my fault. <laughs> yeah, this guy. <laughs> my fault. What if your second cousin is Stop. Stassi. Stassi who? Uh, is not her name. Uh, Stassi. Yeah. Second cousin. What's the percentage for second cousin? <laughs> <laughs> you got about like 60%. Fuck. No, 60% about that just... it won't be. 50% that it won't have an issue. No relationship, just fucking. She's like, but I really want you, Sergio. No kids. Wow. Like, let's say if, okay, right now, since you don't know her, right? And then you're, you're, your your father tells you he has another brother and this that blah blah and then it happens to be yeah your actual cousin and now's their age and then you guys kind of just go to a family party and then you guys hit it off and she goes yeah well n- we never spoke to each other in our lives i'm your second cousin the, the, the fact that it's, it's fictional makes you want to be like oh yeah it wouldn't bother me but if it was an, my actual second cousin i'd probably have a harder time being like accepting of it yeah mm-hmm. yeah what would you guys do if let's say you're dating a girl and it's been like 3 years and you find out like on the third year that she's actually your cousin but she's your first cousin i would break it off why? Yo, why? three I'll, years after three bro like you guys are about years? to get married you guys are talking about kids Bro, you find Mary, out she's your first cousin no, no way. Mary, it's Family crazy bro realize that she's my cousin you three I mean? years is wild bro three years well three years personally i don't think it's that much so i would be like it would be okay for me mm. first you said first second cousin first, first cousin, cousin. <laughs> It's crazy. First cousin, like no. it's first cousin. Like it's, it's your, my, it's my your mom's sister's sister. Daughter, yeah. yeah. Huh? My aunt's daughter. My sister's, sister's daughter is crazy. <laughs> my mom's my sister's, mom's sister's daughter. daughter. Yeah. No, that's crazy. Okay, second cousin. What the fuck? <laughs> nah, that's what the fuck? Hell no. Nah. You guys been backing, bro, for two years. Nah. She's been sucking your dick. Huh? So hard for two years. Matt, what? I, hello? <laughs> two hands, bro. Ma- me too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I did, oh, I did no, say something. Bro. Come on, go, go. Like, deep throated and everything. Bro. Yeah! <laughs> sloppy. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. crazy, bro. That's crazy, huh? So, so what's the question? Are we calling it off? Like the marriage or whatever? A thousand you, percent. Bro, you done. First, co- first cousin off. First cousin yeah. done. Second cousin, off. eh? Third cousin, you're still marrying her? Third cousin, yeah. Third cousin, cousin, yeah. I felt like off cousin everything. Bro. Off everything. Family is crazy. Hell no. Okay, but like the bond you... is that much stronger, you know, because it's yeah. family. <laughs> 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 like Vin Diesel <laughs> says, bro. No, <laughs> that's crazy. Diesel. Don't family. do everything for family. That's crazy. No? <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. Like that. Family, family reunion. <laughs> but would y'all be able to like marry your stepsister? Stepsister? No. Yeah. Uh, stepsister. It's not blood related. Stepsister. Mary is crazy. We're Mary. Not, Mary is Mary. Not, so basically, oh, oh. let's say, let's say, what are your stepsisters? Is Janaiko? 
oh, marry your sister. So but it's it's more it's for, for me for me it's Death morally wrong. It's morally wrong. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. What is it? What is it? What is it? Morally. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, one more time. Morally. Okay, you got it. Morally, morally. It's morally wrong. What? No, it's morally wrong. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Same. But if she's bad. <laughs> no, no, it's still morally wrong. Yeah, get, a thousand percent. But if she's bad. We all agree. We, we all agree it's wrong. Yeah. But I'd still do it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, did she's I grow bad? up with her? Oh, or growing like, up with her is wild. No. That grow up with okay, her. So like, if she's, okay, so. Okay. We're talking about now. Like, okay. like, my mom gets another husband and. No, if you grew up, if, if you if you grew up with her, you're probably not attracted to her. Yeah. Yeah. No. But no, it's like if you guys are like both like eighteen. And you guys are both like you. peak fucking like puberty horniness, then yeah, most likely. Okay, contact. Do you think it happens often? <laughs> don't I do con- I don't think so. It probably like happens in, in, less real, often. in real life. You in know, the US, yeah. Probably. Huh? In the U.S. probably. Yeah, I mean, no Americans are pretty shame. wild. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't know if I would say in the U.S. I feel like Canada we're like a smaller population, so it's more like yeah. But we're more like we're more like old fashioned like immigrants. I think yeah. in the U.S. would go yeah, the US way US crazy, way bro. worse, bro. I don't know, bro. Uh, in the U.S., like uh, all the frat houses, and sorority houses, bro. It's like true. people be partying and having sex oh, like crazy over there for no. Anyone. All the crazy stories you hear, bro, is all, bro. It's they ha- all they have a there. family. I forgot what their name is called. But they're a super popular family in the States. In and they're, 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 they're yeah, the inbred yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Riddickers. Something like that. They all fuck and the, Yeah, and they're all they're all inbred. They all have some kind of mental disability. I swear to God, it's a family yeah. in the U.S. There's a, there's a whole known, show Known about for that. incest. That's crazy. Yeah. That's that's wild. Yo, bro. that's crazy. Bro. Nah, hell no, nah, bro. Americans are pretty wild. Americans are really wild. There was that girl in the frat house. I heard that she was um, going in the closet and whoever wanted to fuck just went in there. And she was just fucking anyone that was walking in. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Imagine if that was your daughter. Wow, that's crazy. That's she crazy. comes home like 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 walking like in pain, like ah. walking diffy. That's crazy, so, bro. Uh, she walks gym, She walks in the closet and she's like, whoever wants to fuck me, fuck me. And then guys just you know guys in frat houses are also so horny. They're just walking. Bop bop bop. Your turn. And then everyone just walks in. Loads, bro. Yep. How does she loads? I don't she know. Goes, does she goes to sleep. She's like, ah. there's no way she like what? Do you think it? She'll it, probably do you be think, tired, like, bro. She's, she's sick, or just well, like yeah. there's Tip something off. wrong for real, or she's just like actually just really horny. And, no, like, there's some there's something there for sure. But I there's there are people who are like attracted to the idea of being treated like like an object also. Yeah, no, so. I get it. But that's there's a, that, there's, a, like, there's like an extent, bro. Yeah. Hey, Amen. It's like, like girls that episode. love getting gang banged. <laughs> I really don't like this episode. Yo, you started off with the yeah, cheating I, shit, bro. That's crazy. Home, Damn, I'm bro. Daughters getting fucking destroyed and not. <clears throat> bro, I'm gonna stay single so I don't have kids, so I don't have a daughter. I can't. I can't. I can't do that. I want. I want a little princess. I want my little princess. Mm-hmm. But so I will stay single for a while. Daughter. Yo, would another daddy. Oh, she'll, she'll have another daddy. What's your, What's your question, Carl? That's yeah. crazy. Someone comes here, gives you one million dollars, not to get head for the, for a year. Yeah, Done. easy, bro. Wow, easy, bro. I, I'll never, I, I, I never, I will never love sex or head more than money. Facts. And you're doing it. I don't know why you act like you wouldn't do it because you already doing it for the free. <laughs> bro, for, for one year not to get head is easy, bro. What? It's like well, for a minute. I'm able to have sex. Bro. I'm still able to have sex, what? but just not head. Well, if it's that easy, you can't have. Okay, no sex for a year for a million. For a million. Also easy, done though. Yeah. Right now. Okay, a hundred k. For a year. For a year. No sex. No head. No head. Yeah. No. That's easy. No, bro. I won't. Because I could still make a hundred k and get head at the same time mm-hmm. in a year. Fair. I still want. A I'll, I'll make the hundred k. Like, like once we sure like once we start pushing two hundred fifty k, then I'm gonna be like, okay, maybe. Huh. For hundred k, no. For hundred k, I'm not getting ahead for you. I'm good. Okay, boys, it's twenty twenty four. Crazy. Okay. And um, hot boy summer and hot girl summer is coming. Mm. So dating is <laughs> bound to happen. Mm-hmm. So we've kind of already went over the whole like dating etiquettes, right? On what we should do. Let's just reiterate some. For the new viewers, because we've grown since last year, right? Fair enough. Um, so, fellas, take out your notepads. And ladies, 
realize that this is the standard. So, Matt, what are one of the things that a guy should do when he takes a girl out on a date? Ask her on a walk. <laughs> we, he just said I know, I know. we've grown from last year. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, Yo, I read the. I, was that English? Wait, what'd you say? Uh, <laughs> ice cream and walk. Ice cream and walk. Oh, okay. okay. What are some What are some dating etiquettes that a guy should do on the first date? On the first date, go pick her up. Carl, open every single door for her. Cars and restaurant doors. Yep. Pay for the bills. Thousand percent. Um, when walking on the sidewalk, make sure she walks on the safe side of the road. Mm-hmm. Have a somewhat nice outfit, not too classy, casual, but not like a bum. Yeah, dress and good, mm-hmm. s- smell good. Might be small, but ask her if it's okay for you to go pick her up because sometimes it's not, and for her to be comfortable with it. Yeah. Compliment, always good, but not too much. Don't be too excessive. Don't expect sex on the first few dates. Mm-hmm. Clean your car. Mm-hmm. Listen to her. You want to know about her. You already know yourself, so listen. Wow, that's good. Mm-hmm. Find out what she likes to do before planning the date. Um, take charge on making decisions. Fuck. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> Not a hard one. Go off, Sue. Um, <clears throat> damn, you fucked it up. I was going to inspire myself. Well, we kind of... That's the first thing. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah. So these are some of the things that you guys can use. Now... Mm. I found a list of places on where not to bring a girl on a first date. Mm. And we're going to go through them and see if we agree or if we disagree. Mm. I swear if I see Cheesecake Factory, bro, I'm losing Number one, Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. No way. What the? F- oh, my God. It actually, I thought you were fucking around. Oh, my God. There's no way. That's crazy. Number man. one, Cheesecake Factory. I think this one is the one that had like the most debate about because I think some people were like, yeah, Cheesecake Factory. But I guess there's a story behind it, bro. Debatable, bro. So number two, we're going to go through this list. We're going to bang these out, okay? Number two, this is a restaurant in the States. Um, number two is Applebee's. Applebee's, is, Applebee's is pretty good, but you can't take it. Yeah, but for yeah, them, for them, you can't take it. It's not, it's not, basic. It's, yeah, it's not yeah, date tier. Mm, you know, yeah. that's that's like, like, it's like you bring your nona there. Yeah, you're fair enough. Um, Chili's. Agree. I mean, same thing. Yeah. Chipotle. Same thing. Fair enough. Olive Garden. Same thing. The movies. Olive Garden. I agree. Agree that you wouldn't go down on no. first date. First, first date for the movies. Yeah. Okay. It's true. It's true. You can't talk. You just watch the movie and what? Oh, I got to know you so much. Fact. You like the movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, your house. Debatable. Agree to disagree. <laughs> yeah. You could do like uh, wine and pasta. And, like, yeah. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, but first date, she doesn't know you that well. Like to just invite her over. It depends also. She doesn't want to give you the wrong intentions by saying yeah. by agreeing to come to your house. Mm. And also she doesn't know you that well. Like we said, men are creeps. Fair That's enough. So you don't know what you're walking into, you know? Mm, true. True. Um, any fast food chain restaurants? For sure. But you know, I got I gotta say though, those girls that are like, yo, like take me out to McDonald's, it would be the perfect date. Like, you're cool. If a girl says first date, let's go to McDonald's. Yeah. But you know what I'll say? I'll say, okay, I'll take you out of McDonald's only if you let me take you to another to a nice restaurant the next time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Balance, baby. Yeah, because I don't want her to think that like, that's the that's standard. The uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, Red Lobster, a buffet. Wingstop is wild. <laughs> Wingstop is amazing, bro. <laughs> Yo, I've never had Wingstop. I want bro, Wingstop, bro. Bro, I went to Miami. Wingstop is good. Yo, Rick Ross, I, give me some Wingstop. That's what I'm saying. Please, Ricky, you um, got it. IHOP, Denny's, the gym. That's crazy. That's fucked up. <laughs> whatever, whoever, whatever. Who, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Whoever made that list was insane. I think the gym, I think the gym could be like a cute day date, but maybe yeah. not for the first date. No, what you okay? No, actually, you know what? Go ahead. Maybe it's good because you guys go there, do your own workouts right after you go eat a meal after the, the good workout. Then you guys just chill. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah. And chances are, most likely you guys went to the like you guys are at the same gym. Mm. Also, you know, mm-hmm. imagine Carl gets sick. That's her PR. <laughs> no, no. See, I, I I can't train with a girl. 
like if we go work out, you're doing your stuff and I'm doing my stuff. It's kind of training with a girl is crazy. Yeah. Because like, <laughs> look, when I bench, when I squat, I'm not thinking I have five plates to put one Sorry. or twenty five pounds. But imagine, Sorry. imagine the opposite, and and like they work out and then whatever he does his thing, and then the girl just come over and she goes, "That's the only thing you're squatting." Adds two plates to the side and then squats. I Four. guarantee you, Carl's hitting it. Yeah, for sure. Carl's hitting a PR. Yeah, oh, a thousand percent. There's no way I'm not hitting it, bro. <laughs> but imagine, imagine you really like can't, and she goes. She's strong like that. Yeah. Yo, okay. she has she has to behind you like do the squat. Spot she has, you. She has, to, yeah, spot she has you. to spot you. If she, if if a girl has to spot me That's crazy. while while at the gym, bro, and I'm not hitting it, bro, <laughs> this is crazy. She's gonna get the Imagine egg. you fuck it up. Like you're out there benching, she's like, "Wait, let me help you," and then you're like, "Oh, thank you." What? <laughs> <laughs> no, if I ask for a spot for a girl. I'm getting it and I'm banging that shit out, bro. Next one you you change is don't don't take Fuck. don't take a girl to church. That could be cute. No. Yeah, that could be debatable. Depends for some people, bro. No, yeah. I'm good, bro. Yeah, um, religious people, maybe they want to go there. Yeah, I'm sure they would. Yeah. Again, I'm um, good, Starbucks, coffee dates. Coffee, coffee no, dates coffee are cute. Dates. Coffee dates are cool. Disagree. Yeah, yeah disagree. disagree. If you want to go take a coffee with me, fuck you. Sorry. <laughs> So personal. Uh, ice cream dates. Would you look at that? Wow, it's on the list. Surprising. Mm, crazy. Surprise, surprise. Uh, family functions. Absolutely the fuck not. No, no. you're not coming to my family function. Can you imagine? I'll hey guys, time. meet. Uh, what's your name again? Yeah. It's first date, bro. My family's brutal, bro. You'll leave the place crying. It's mm. insane, bro. Mo- movie night. Uh-huh. Like movie. Ne- Netflix and chill. Oh, well, debatable. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I pro- I promise you Matt has grown since last year. I promise. That's right. Um somewhere that requires a long drive. That I disagree. That yeah. I disagree. Yeah. Road trips are fun. Yeah. Actually, you know what? To be fair, again, I think we're thinking like in different contexts. Imagine it's the first date and you plan like a long drive. Mm. Imagine the date is ass. Mm. And now you're stuck in the car for a road trip. Yeah, fair I enough. get it though. Fair enough. Like yeah. you're betting on you're betting on yourself that the date's gonna go amazing if you do that. You know? yeah. There's a girl the first time I hooked up with her, <laughs> it was at a chalet. But you guys actually too. Like when we went to the chalet, mm. and I was like the, that was the first time I met her, and uh, like it was, was just was it was it fun? Yeah, well, it was an hour. Right back was kind of quiet. Yeah, but also you weren't dating her. No, I wasn't dating, but it's just funny. Um, so dates date spots not to go to bowling. Huh? Disagree. Okay, disagree, disagree bro. bro. Dating is probably like a shorter date than like a dinner date, if anything. Mm. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I get it. No, dating um, is amazing, bro. Nightclubs. That's no. Yeah. Yeah. Agree, agree. First date. Yeah. Nice. It's insane, bro. Weird. Hookah bar. Disagree. I Maybe. don't even smoke, but I disagree. I don't know like where this reference is from, but some like hookah lounges are pretty cool. Yeah, you yeah, go, like, you go have, like, yeah, yeah. You go, it's intimate in some in some areas, and you can have a nice drink. Exactly. Um, a bar for just drinks. A bar for just drinks. Again, bro. Like when I'm thinking bar, I'm thinking like Irish pubs when they say that. But like me in my mind, a bar is like yeah. like a speakeasy. Like yeah. people like dress up nice to yeah, go there. It's yeah. like low key, intimate. You know, speakeasies are really five, nice. Five, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, waffle houses or sports events. Sports events could be a vibe. Sports events could be cool. I did a football a, a game. Super cool. I went to a basketball game. See, I had tickets. I was with you. That is true. On the first, as a first date. Yeah. Wow. Well, he was with his thingy. My friend. Hmm. I was so, with a friend. 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 <laughs> Hold on, I think I had. With the fire thing on the fire. I'm sorry, Mitchell. Did we meet the mess the funniest joke in the world, bro? No, it's just yeah. <laughs> the way, the way he yeah, reacted. Yo, she didn't have a like, yeah. Shout out. Uh, check out check out this video. Oh. Oh my god. Yo, why is she yelling, bro? Wait, Wrong can I try hole. to find the original theory? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the video's not there, but anyways. But just listen to the theory. That's the most important part. I have a new dating, like, <coughs> theory. Shit, I, I can't credit the right person, but it was not for me. It was someone on TikTok. That men date from zero. So when men meet you and start dating you, you're a zero. And okay. you have to build up to, like, earn them wanting to date you. Okay. Where girls date from 100. We meet you and we go, you are 
are perfect, and then you you we realize all the things oh, that get you down. And I've never heard anything more fucking accurate. We go in reverse order. We go in reverse. <laughs> Dude. I understand. I understand right. too. What the fuck? That's true. What the fuck? Yeah. And, and, and this is this is my theory, okay? And I'm, I might be wrong, so you guys chip in any time. My theory is is that I feel like a lot of times guys will lie in order to impress the girl at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Therefore, long term, when the girl starts to discover things, she starts going down on the scale, mm-hmm. right? And I think for girls, it's like we are we're giving them a chance. We're getting we're genuinely trying to get to know them, and we see how progressively they become like throughout the relationship. Mm-hmm. And for our like in our eyes, they just become better and better mm-hmm. because they don't they don't they don't come. I'm not speaking for all women, but they don't come in with the same intentions as men do, which is like trying to impress them with words. Mm -hmm. They really just come in as themselves Mm -hmm. and you get to know them for them. So they just progressively get better. Where us, it's like Mm. we try to make ourselves look bigger because we are constantly in competition with other men. Mm -hmm. And then she starts to see the the flaws as it progresses. But in other words, I'd say like women, they just be more open with time comes right so they don't have to impress you like you said at the beginning so they don't they don't show you anything mm-hmm. like you don't know if she's a good cook she's a good family person she go this that and the third you don't know none of it she's just what what i said oh. no you're like you don't know anything no you just don't know anything mm-hmm. she's just like showing herself but then you don't know all the qualities that's coming down mm. you, what the fuck is that i don't I, I promise you bro i have no idea both of you why are you laughing huh I'm not laughing. Okay, now we're playing stupid now. I'm okay. not laughing. Continue. Anyway, so that that's it. That was, uh, that's literally it. Hmm. Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what is wrong with him, bro? What the fuck? No, I totally agree with you. Like, you don't know anything, so like... You're going to say I said the same thing as him? That's what? No. So why you're laughing, then? I wasn't laughing. Well, clearly you are. And then why are you laughing? Yeah. Because he's laughing. Oh, interesting. Same. Anyways... My my P my POV is that like I've I've already went on dates where I was I started um from like a hundred and then lost points. But the things that the moment that you lose like ten points, I I don't wanna be on the date anymore. Mm. It's like I just wanna leave. It's like there's so like I just get turned off and I'm like, okay, yeah. But that that's what proves the point even more. Like when you start dating a girl, for me personally at least because they come out, I, I would say, I guess, more open and genuine, like, on the first few dates, I'm much more easily turned off. Because, mm. like, I th- I guess the icks come off right away. Oh. Where, like, me, I, I tend to, like, hide my icks. Oh, okay, okay. Based on what we just said. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? Um, but, obviously, long term, it's much, I much rather date a girl that's, like, straight up from the beginning and she is who she is from the get-go than finding out she's someone else later on. Facts. You know what I mean? You know, there's something that I find, like, one of my icks that I think is just, like, weird, but I think it's just because the way I was raised is... Long showers. Girl... You know what's Taking forever to leave the house? You know what, Carl? Shut up. Just being light skin. Huh? <laughs> 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 no, I was going to say um, table etiquette. Like, a girl mm. who doesn't have table etiquette, like, it turns me off so yeah. much, bro. Yeah. It's insane. And I'm just going to be watching you like, hmm, why are your goddamn fucking things on the table? Okay, yeah. What? How you call these again? Elbows. elbows. There you go. <laughs> why are your elbows on the table like that? Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, that's how you hold the fork? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, I see people with crazy table etiquette and it just turns me off. It's the phone for that's me. Fair. Is the phone for me. Having your phone constantly. Yeah, I was checking your phone. Oh, bro. On, on a, phone. I, I promise you, I really if can't. on a first date, your phone is even on the table, Dark. automatic. Ick. Actually, my, mine's on the table. It's flipped, but like it's over there. I don't care. Mine is, not, mine is not. Mine is, is, but is, I'm not is using tucked it. in my I'm pocket, MIA. bro. I'm, but, even, but even at that, just the fact that it's there, mm. I don't know. For for me, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a huge ick. Okay, and I remember it. Um, I remember when me and my ex, we first started dating. It's one of the first things that I noticed. It was on the first day, there was no phones. And I was like, okay, mm. wifey material. And that's, and that's immediately where my brain goes. 
Like I feel like on dates, it's I go to either or extreme. Yeah. yeah. It's either you're not for me or you're having my children. But and there's that theory to. that says uh, I know exactly what you're gonna say. That like, says we we know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like we within know. like like an hour, you kind of know. hundred percent if shift it's gonna work or you not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to you have to go to the extremes because you don't know the nuance of the person. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to go to the extremes to be like, okay, what do I like? I really like, and what do I really don't like? Yeah, exactly. And then but do you know like, what nuance get. means? And you want nuance. Oh, nuance. What? Okay. But that defies... like gray zone? The fact that you said what you just said. Nuance? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are we gonna that say? defies the theory that they had, though. The girl saying that we go from um, zero to ten. Because uh -huh. if we already know that we're not going to marry them, it's not from zero to ten. You know what I mean? Yeah. Zero to a hundred. Yeah. yeah 100, I think yeah. I think it's like when, you prog like when you're actively dating the person, mm -hmm. you go you, you make your way up to a hundred. Mm, gotcha. On the date, I feel like they, 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 they remain at zero until mm -hmm. until like it goes further. Yeah, but the second date, you already know. Like after, like no. in the date. Bro, I've, I've, I promise you, I've, done, I've gone on dates like for with girls multiple times. Yeah. Because like I wasn't sure. Uh. You know? I have like a three date rule more or less. Oh. Yeah, until like I'm definitive, I'm either like not continuing or continuing. And again, this is under the circumstance that I want something serious. Mm. You know, I would have to like go on an actual date three times in order to like no. make like an actual firm decision. Yeah, because bro, like, like I'm older now. Like I know what I want for my life, and like I know like the next person I get into a relationship with, like it's gonna go by fast. You know, so like I have like a three day um, motto that I stick to because otherwise. But anyways. Haven't and not planning on dating for the next little while, regardless. Trust you. Yeah, have table etiquette. I you. How do you feel if like? Because I know you're like kind of germaphobe a little bit. How do you feel? If, <laughs> don't give me this face. If like you're on a date with the woman and she goes, oh, like your drink looks so good or whatever, and then she kind of like this is the straw. She goes. How do you feel about it? Yuck. I'm not using my straw anymore. But to be honest, I'm way Why, less... Bro? Girls are I'm what, clean yeah. creatures. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, we're a dirty not, year not, for sure, but... Yeah, not all, bro. Fair. Like, I, I hear some crazy stories. So why are you going out with dirty girls, bro? I don't go with dirty girls. Exactly, so but I'm saying like that, No, I was going to say, I usually, with girls, I'm way less germaphobic than with guys. Yeah, but it's, oh, yeah, okay, it's yeah. crazy. You get what I mean? You don't know if she's been sucking dick before. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Yeah. I mean, I know you guys... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, why you don't want to share your food with me? That's I, on, honestly that's my reason why I don't yeah. why I don't share. Why? Because I don't know where your mouth has been. I, I don't I, know where your mouth has been. That's why with you I have no problem, <laughs> respectfully. I don't know where where you guys' mouth has been, and you guys' hands too, bro. You guys okay. touch everything. It's not the same thing. You want to know why? So this is my logic behind it. Let me cook. If you share, let's say your straw with a girl, she's been sucking dick. If you sh if you share a straw with that. us, we've been eating pussy. So you're gay. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <the fuck? laughs> yo, you see? You see? Nah. Yo, I'm just saying, bro. Nah. No, I get I, I get where you're coming nah, from. Like, but you're not germophobic. Like with you guys, I am. What? Yo, not with me. Explain. What? Uh, explain. You know exactly I, where my mouth goes, I, I, so I I have no understanding of what you're saying. That's my reason. That's <laughs> crazy. You know exactly where all of y'all. No, I'm not gonna spill the tea. I'll, uh, I'll say it after. Who's all of y'all? You want me to say now? Uh, say and it. I cut it off. You cut it off. Because at your at your uh, you know what? Fuck it, bro. At the rate that you're fucking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. God forbid. I don't. Ho I don't wish this upon you. But whatever you catch, I just don't want to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> and I know my name's not catching anything, and Michu's ranking up numbers, bro. <laughs> Yo, so. What are you talking about? Mm. I took a break. 2024, I didn't do anything yet. We're two days in, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? Three. He but, took a weekend off, bro. Uh -oh. talking about. Um, uh, that's crazy. Oh, fuck. What were we talking about? I completely forgot. Oh, yeah. I wanted to show you guys a, another clip. <clears throat> okay. So, this is a girl that goes on about a video that says, Men aren't stupid. Thank you. For real. <laughs> Guys understand who they're dealing with. Guys understand how hard it is to find a girl with drive that is physically attracted to them, that is physically attractive in general, and that has things going for them. Period. And if they like you, they will make time for you. And even if Jimmy has 5,000 things to do and he has a busy job and a busy week and a lot of friends, he will find a way to make time for you if he wants to. That's true. That's facts, man. That's true. That is that's very true. Ladies crazy, need to understand man. that without a doubt, 
if the guy likes you, no matter how busy his life is, he will make time for you if he wants to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think we're all, yeah, yeah, that was what I was saying. Nothing nope. else to say. Yeah, yeah. Damn, man. Jimmy is in town and he's out of town when you start talking. He will make that plan prior to even getting back when you are seeing if, if Jimmy is in town and he's out of town when you start talking and you start falling for each other or right after he takes off and Jimmy has a work trip he will plan in advance for when he gets back when you are seeing if he wants to see you when he is hanging out with you what you guys are doing where is he taking you what are you guys doing anything he will make that plan prior to even getting back if Jimmy doesn't want to he'll just say yeah I'll message you when I get back if Jimmy wants you, he will plan the next time he's going to see you before even leaving you from that time. On I don't think that far ahead. Yeah. I yeah. yeah before I think, leaving, I'm already thinking about the next time. I don't think that far ahead. Yeah. I think I say it even. I'm like, yeah, next time we'll do, we'll do that. You know I'll I'll, I'll right? say it, but I don't think I'll plan it just because like. Oh okay yeah. You don't know what's gonna. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't fair know. Enough. Fair enough. Well, respectfully, our lifestyle also is the way it's like kind of not nine to five so true yeah you bro i could know. be literally you could i could plan a date with a girl and then like all of a sudden it's like oh i have yeah. to go yeah to fucking new york all of a sudden yeah. exactly you know nice. and it's actually happened there was a circumstance where like i was talking to a girl and there was literally things coming up every single time that we were supposed to see each other yeah. and i just looked like an asshole mm, yeah exactly and, and and i'm literally saying all the things that i would have said if i would have wanted to lie to her too mm -hmm. like the, it's the exact same lingo you know yeah. It's like, oh, I can't because something come up. Yeah, after yeah. I can't. Like, I have something to do with work. But, like, I'm, I can't say, like, oh, hey, hey, here's proof. Here's my fucking, my flight. I see. Mm. <laughs> you know? Mm. Whatever. I make it up to her afterwards. Oh. So, check this out. Speaking about dating and whatnot, listen to, li listen to what this woman has to say. attraction if he's always available to her not if you're living in a million dollar home and that's what people need to understand women need to decide what do they want if they want a provider if they want to have financial status if they want to have a good life for their children and money and status is important then you're going to be with a type of guy that doesn't have quality of a, a quantity of attention but will have quality and the best advice you have for men when it comes to relationships, men need to look for women that they can have purpose with, that they can build something with, and not just the pleasure and the fun and the excitement of the moment. Because when there's a lot of money, everybody's like, ha, 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 that's pleasure. But when things get tough, they're not there for you. But if you're with a, with a woman who's also committed to your purpose, even when the going gets tough, she'll be there for you. Smartest woman on planet Bro, that's exactly what my mom would say. Yeah. With the same tone and same. I listened to this video and I was thinking that that's the that's kind of thing crazy. that your mom would say. What the fuck? No, that's she's right. So, that's so true. Find that's a girl insane. that believes in your purpose is crazy. Mm. I think that's one of the things that the majority of men that are striving to become like bigger things in life mm. is what they want. For sure. Res re respect all those things for sure, but absolutely finding a, a woman that believes in your purpose. They're hard to find, bro. Because really they're already cuffed. There's another man that saw that first. Yeah. Yes, but I like I can't speak for everyone, but at least for myself, I don't No, I think I can't speak for everyone because we've all had like we've all had good experiences with 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 our exes. I think for the most part, we've been with people who who would ride or die for us in those moments. Mm. Mm. That knowing that if we did lose that everything financially, that they would still stick by our side regardless. Mm, yeah. But I know for a big portion of men, they don't have that. You know, fair enough. Yeah. But also the, the 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 whole like CEO being able to give you all the time and whatever, bro. Like if you want to live like a good lifestyle, like let me cook. You have to understand. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like let me let me them. chase the bag. Mm. But like she said, depends on the woman. Depends on the woman. If a woman wants that, and if a woman wants nine to five man or like a more basic man. Like imagine complaining but living in a one million dollar home what that's paid off by your man. Porch nine eleven. Huh? What a Porsche 911. What's a Porsche? Porsche. A, a Porsche. 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 Hmm. Porsche. 
No, I said porched. I said always porch. Ah. Porched. Yeah, I said porch. I always said that. I don't say porch. But I say porch. Ah. You didn't even say porch. Porch either. I said porch. Porch. Ah. I said porch. I thought Can you were looking like on? front porch. Like, close it. Fuck. You close it. Front if you want to close it. Close it. Close it. You close it. Close it. Porch is crazy. You Thank you for it. tuning in, guys. This was a uh, surgery talk podcast. Bro, a little bit more energy. All right. Thank you for listening to today's episode. This okay. was the Surgery Talks Podcast. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before we finish up this episode. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon. Patreon. And subscribe to the new you Oh my god. To subscribe to the new YouTube channel. B3. That's, That's the crazy. both of y'all. That's, That's both crazy. of you. No, you guys. were fast. He was fast as shit, right? Yeah, you're fast as fuck. That's what I'm saying. You're fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to our new YouTube channel. B3. B3. And now you guys both get a punishment. So Riz the camera. Ah, Convince them. I said Shut it. Shut your mouth. I said it. Not the first time. Carl, your turn. Hey, whoa. I'm no, shut done. your mouth. Yo, Carl, not... your turn. Hey, Porcha, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> come to V3. Come like... to Dubai. <laughs> All right. It's Mama, been, it's been your, it's B3. been your, It's been your boy, Sir Joe's Talks. It's your boy, Matt. It's your boy, Carl. It's your boy, Bichu. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>